What is going on everybody? Today we are making a video about a problem that I see over and over and over inside of the comments. People keep on asking me the question. They don't know how to solve it and it is about this. What happens when you're installing your hair system yourself and you get hair stuck in between your scalp and the bond, right? So imagine that this hair right here got underneath my hair system because you know I was fiddling around with it and now it's stuck underneath and now it's like the bond is messed up. Do you have to start over? What do you have to do? This video is gonna be covering really all of that stuff. We're gonna be talking about how to prevent that. We're gonna be talking about how to fix that, okay? And today what we're actually gonna be doing is explaining uh, how to do this the proper way with a actual hair system with a mannequin boom right here whoop there it is so that way you can see exactly how I'm gonna go about doing this okay but real quick guys this video is sponsored by Levivid hair they do a great job at customer service and they've got product in stock right now they're doing a great job at sponsoring this community making sure that we can get education tips conversations all of this stuff on a weekly basis so I'm wearing the cruise hair system right now they have a lot of models in stock right now that you might want to go check out use my code below jake15 for 15 percent off which equates to probably like 30 to 40 bucks off to a single unit so let's first talk about the problem getting a hair stuck underneath your bond basically in between your scalp and the hair system itself why does this happen well a lot of the times what happens is as we're trying to fiddle with our hair system we're trying to get it in place the hairs especially if they're longer like if they're long like this right here it's a longer style it's easy for the hair to kind of get like folded underneath as we're trying to just straighten it out it takes a lot of dexterity a lot of like manual um, dexterity with your hands to really make sure that this doesn't happen but if you want to avoid it you know here's a couple tips right uh, what I like to do is I like to brush all of the hair out in like a very easy to manage direction uh, what this means is I like if I shampoo my unit and I get it ready for a fresh install I brush out all the knots and then after that I kind of brush it in the backwards direction away from my scalp and the reason or the away from the front of my head and the reason is because I'm going to apply my unit this is how I do it I apply it from the front first all right so when I put the hair back and I basically tell the hair to go back with a brush it's helping avoid the hair get trapped underneath it as opposed to if I pushed it all forward number one when I'm actually installing the unit I'm completely blind I can't see where the hairline is going and that's a problem and number two it's more likely to get caught underneath as I'm kinda like moving around and doing the little you know installation dance that happens so you really want to make sure that you're brushing your hair back or out of the way from the way that you're installing it like this it's going to make it a little bit harder to style after especially if you do a brush forward look kind of like i do but you know you deal with it for a day and it's much much simpler um so that's the big reason why it happens uh the second reason is because I, like I noticed that it happens a lot on my sides if I'm not careful and that's generally because I I'm trying to like fix and fiddle with this stuff right here and it's very easy to grab the hair or like push the hair underneath as I'm grabbing the unit especially in the sides just because there's no real clean way to get it I mean you can get it from the front and kind of like this but it's pretty tough but this is primarily the thing that we see inside of the front hairline that's when we're worried about it so I'm gonna show you how to fix it. So what I have today is I have a hair system and then I actually have a, uh, a little mannequin right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to take a couple pieces of Ultra Hold, or actually just one piece of Ultra Hold because I think it's gonna be more than enough and I'm gonna show you how to fix this problem, okay? But this is weird. I've never, uh, I've never had to do like a system install that wasn't on my own head. So it's kind of weird. And as you are learning how to do this yourself, this is going to happen for sure. Just expect it to happen and don't freak out. And that's that's actually one of the biggest things about this is that um, don't freak out. 
if you freak out when you're installing your unit or if something goes wrong, man, it's gonna be such a bad experience. Um, it's already hard enough when you get emotionally like tied into this and you're like, oh man, like nothing's working or like I destroyed my unit or something. It, it just becomes impossible, like really impossible to install these things. It, it requires like a really clear level head and uh, you know, you, you just, you gotta stay contained. You gotta stay managed. All right, so now I'm gonna purposefully get a couple of these strands of hair underneath and it feels wrong to do, but I'm just gonna gently apply it to this mannequin right here. Um, so that way we can work with it, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of try to get the hair out of the way for you to see. So if you can see right here, there is a lot of hair that I have trapped underneath here intentionally, right? Um, now this is just gonna be an example. This is a fresh unit. So there's obviously this, this little uh, plastic line. That's something that you have to cut off uh, when you get a fresh unit. But there's one simple trick that can really make all of this much easier to manage and doesn't have to help or doesn't make it so you stress out. So what you're gonna do, right, is you're gonna grab our old friend isopropyl alcohol. Right now I have it in a bottle. Um, the reason you're gonna grab isopropyl alcohol is because this is a temporary bond breaker. This can help us get underneath the adhesive, but not ruin the adhesive. So if this is something like, you know, you're gonna notice this when you first do an install, right? Um, this is something that you do right away and you rectify the problem and you move on with your life, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm actually gonna spray it right at the edge, right here. Okay. And what you're gonna see is I'm, I'm pulling on the hair and look at that, look at that. See the bond is starting to come up. Now, what you can do if you have an actual, uh, if you have a comb, a comb works really nicely to do this, but you can basically grab the comb and kind of get behind these hairs right here and then literally, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing right here, exactly, I'm trying to do it for the camera, but I'm literally pulling these hairs out from underneath. I'm not using a lot of pressure. I'm just letting them gently come out on their own. And if you can't see the hairs, you can see, look at this, this whole strand of hair, this was all underneath the tape. Now I'm getting a little bit more, look at this. So this is all you have to do really if you want to work on making sure that you don't have any hairs stuck underneath your tape. If it happens in the middle of an install, this isn't something that you have to freak out about. See, look at this right now. All I had to do was get underneath this, clear it, and now I can just lay this back down. And you know, you wanna press it back in, make sure that it has a good bond. That's basically all you have to do. It's not that complicated of a, of a problem. What's really gonna happen, what you're really gonna have to work against is this like psychological, emotional um, blockage that you're gonna have that like you feel helpless or that you feel like it's too hard or that you messed up already and that it's too late. None of that stuff is true. You have time to fix this. I mean, don't wait two days to fix this, but if you see it happen right away, just go in with some isopropyl alcohol, spray it at the hairline, lift it up, lift it up. You haven't screwed up the bond. It's just temporarily broken. And once the isopropyl dries, then it's gonna be sticky again. But you wanna go in and you wanna just gently pull with a comb or with your finger, just something, or even a toothpick, and just gently let the hair break away from the bond with the isopropyl alcohol. That's all you have to do, and it's gonna be okay. That's all you gotta do. Anyways. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell below. And remember, thank you so much to Live Vivid for sponsoring these videos right here. It's so great that they're sponsoring education inside the community. If you like the system I'm wearing, it's the crewest. I got the link down below and we will see you next week.